do 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 I apologize, friends. It's been a while since I made a video. Ugh. Every day! I'm like, oh, I gotta make a video. And then, I don't know, I get caught up in a bunch of different stuff. I've made a few videos on my Living Free channel. It's mostly power stations. Those power stations have been a help to some, of the, some neighbors, which is nice. Um, a lot of off-grid people living on, it's all off-grid people living out here. Um, let me show you what I'm up to. Woo! Bring you along. It's been getting pretty cold at night. <clears throat> so on today's agenda, I got to cut wood. <clears throat> Plenty of it laying around here. I got to fill that barrel there. But right now, what I gotta do, I just got the license plates for my Honda Pilot here. But I've got the key screws on here, and I lost the key. So I have to take the angle grinder and cut it right here on both sides, and then use a flathead and take these off. Man, I tell you. <laughs> but it is what it is. Besides that, uh, oh, it would be so nice if you guys could see what I could see right now. It's it just, the camera never does it justice. You got a mountain right there, the Lonely Mountain, and then another mountain there. You got a butte over there. There, that that's actually probably a mesa. It's pretty long. Butte over there you can see forever. It's so beautiful. I'm so glad I've got my diesel heater that's been helping out a lot. So I've got my wood burning stove and my diesel heater. Sometimes I just don't feel like going out and getting wood. <laughs> it's a lot of work to be off grid, it really is. I gotta ensure everything, especially with waving temperatures, you know. I really, really, really badly need a shed. My roof tore off of my clam um, last week during the wind. And the clam is literally, I don't know, one bad windstorm away from being completely useless. And I got a lot to store here. I've got my e-bike. I've got that dryer bunch of uh, concrete that's going to be for a project coming up my old fridge and freezer and my favorite my lazy boy oh my goodness Becky oh <sighs> so I've just been living day to day I gave myself a haircut. Uh, today is the day after Thanksgiving. Not sure when I'm going to get this uploaded. Hopefully tonight or something. But uh, the other day I gave myself a haircut. Instead of driving all the way into town. I was singing along with some music in my bathroom. And uh, going kind of buck wild. You know what I mean? When... When you're by yourself, you just got to have fun even when you're by yourself, you know? <laughs> if you can't entertain yourself, how how do you expect to be able to entertain anybody else? <laughs> and I do a lot of self-entertainment. <laughs> Too much. <clears throat> Went to Thanksgiving yesterday. Had a wonderful time with a bunch of neighbors. That was awesome. I thought I was going to do Thanksgiving alone, but uh, I ended up getting invited. And it's pretty cool. Way out there. Way out there. And they've got the coolest off-grid property. I wish some of these properties I've been visiting I could show on camera. But a lot of people, I don't even want to ask them. Because, you know, people come out here for privacy. 
So they don't need some YouTuber up in their face. But beautiful property, beautiful people. Loving it, making friends out here. And uh, yeah. It's not exactly quartzite where you got all your friends camped right around with you, but uh, yeah. I'm just processing life right now. Uh, no dog. No nothing. I've always dealt with loss pretty bad. You guys remember when I lost my grandpa? It was really tough. And uh, I'm thinking that the reason my potatoes weren't very big was because I wasn't adding fertilizer. A few people may have mentioned that. Uh, if you guys are gardeners out there, go ahead and tell me why my potatoes are so... Why my taters are coming out like the size of a golf ball. I've got cuts all over the place from working on stuff. Jacked up. I got to get uh, four jacks. Well, for, first thing I got to get is a shed. Or I'm going to be in real trouble real soon. I jacked up my RV the other day. What the heck? Looks like it came... Oh, it came down. Yeah, you're not supposed to just let your let it rest with this. I got to get the weight off my tires because my RV has been sitting for so long. I got to get four jack stands that are, that'll hold at least 12,000 pounds. And those are spendy too. <laughs> Everywhere I look, left and right, it's just... Buy this, buy that, buy this, you know. <clears throat> the food has gone way up. I'm not even going to start talking about that. But I come out here and I'm just staying in here. Whether it's thick snowflakes falling down. Or wide open stars as far as you can see down to every horizon. It's absolutely beautiful because it's... The stars are so bright, it's like you're, like you're walking around in the stars. Because it, up in Minnesota, the stars, you know, you only see the stars from here to here because there's so many tall trees. But this is going down to every horizon in every direction. So you're walking around in the stars at night. <clears throat> I'll walk around at night during a full moon when I can see a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, walk down the road. Saw uh, another elk crossing the road the other night, which is pretty cool. I still haven't got my four wheel drive on this pilot working yet. I, I am 100% sure, well, I'm 95% sure that it's the computer that shut off the uh, the four-wheel drive because of s some exhaust, um, O2 sensor, something like that. Um, but my but my computer reader won't read Honda and won't do anything with Honda, so I drive to auto parts stores. And they don't even, it seems like a whole bunch of them these days don't even have those code readers or anything. It's so weird. Everything's got to get more difficult and everything's got to get to the point where you have to go to a Honda dealership, you know, in order to get the codes read. I mean, I could I could buy a code reader for like four or $500. <laughs> Just, oh, you know. <clears throat> It's not like the $30 code reader that I got from Walmart. Yeah. Anyways, I'm figuring stuff out. I'd really, really like to get, get it going. Anyways, that's me, guys. That's an update. I'm going to try to upload more now that I got a whole bunch of things done. Still doing stuff every day.